、アンシーン64プレゼント。As you may have heard, Deus Ex is a popular first person action RPG originally conceived by Warren Spector. There are currently four games in the main series. The first two were developed under Spector's watch at Ion Storm, while the third and fourth games were developed by Eidos Montreal. But thanks to a feature on Eurogamer back in 2014, it was revealed that Ion Storm actually worked on two alternative versions of the third installment, called Deus Ex Insurrection and Deus Ex 3, respectively. Deus Ex Insurrection's setting saw America falling into bankruptcy in 2027. Other rising superpowers, including China and Russia, were trying to take advantage of this situation and were bankrolling insurgents on US soil, while the European Union attempted to bring the US under its jurisdiction. The first, third Deus Ex was to take place 25 years before the events of the original game, and saw you playing as Blake Denton, father of the first game's protagonist, JC Denton. Blake was described as the six million dollar man meets Tom Clancy, a biomodified secret agent who was very much ahead of his time, though lacking in Christ allegory. By setting the game in a more contemporary world, Iron Storm hoped it would appeal to a broader market than just science fiction fans. As in the first two Deus Ex games, there would be many avenues you could take during the game, and the fate of the world would, once again, depend on your choices. In Deus Ex Invisible War, it had been easy for the player to change factions. Ion Storm wanted to change this. Once the player had joined a particular faction in Insurrection, it would become extremely hard to convince other factions to let you work with them, thus, avoiding espionage based flip flopping. Taking cues from the most popular games at the time, Ion Storm wanted to alter Deus Ex's mechanics. These plans meant the combat would be more like a mix between Halo and Splinter Cell, the role playing elements would be similar to Knights of the Old Republic, and stealth more like Metal Gear Solid, with the AI of Far Cry, though likely not the lush beachfronts. Before these plans could come to fruition, Deus Ex Insurrection was cancelled when Warren Spector left Ion Storm in 2004. Another key member of staff on the Insurrection team, Art Men, left shortly after, and together they founded Junction Point Studios in 2005. Though Insurrection was cancelled, Ion Storm was still keen on developing a third Deus Ex, this time with one Jordan Thomas, at the time lead designer for Thief Deadly Shadows, heading up the project. Thomas's vision for Deus Ex 3 was to make it an open world game set in New Orleans. The player would be a failed biotech experiment forced to become a mercenary for different companies. It was clearly very much in the Deus Ex vein. Unfortunately, most of Deus Ex 3 was only ever conceptualized on paper, and little to none was ever put into an actual playable product. Eidos closed Iron Storm in 2005 due to financial difficulties, and Jordan Thomas went on to be hired by Irrational Games to work on Bioshock. One Deus Ex project at Eidos did make its way to release, though not in its originally intended form. The game, initially known as Deus Ex Clan Wars, released in 2005 as Project Snowblind, modified a good deal from its originally intended multiplayer focused approach. Beyond that, it was a wait of some six years until we were able to once again play a true Deus Ex game, with the 2011 release of Human Revolution from Eidos Montreal. Mankind Divided followed in 2016, and the rest, well, we'll have to see how that turns out. You can read more about the aborted Deus Ex 3s and other cancelled games on the Unseen 64 website. Check the video description for more details. Unseen 64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world with an archive in which they remember cancelled beta and unseen video games. Please consider supporting Unseen 64 on Patreon to help them keep the site online and archive even more games that could otherwise be forgotten. Thanks for your support.